we're back on the roof. So today we're working on this guy right here. Uh, it's turning on, but it's not blowing any air. So we gotta see what's going on. On top of a little strip mile here. It's kind of sad. That's for lease, that's for lease, that's for lease. But uh, sign of the times. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and open this guy up, see what's going on. So here we go. Alrighty, so we got this guy open up. It's a heat pump. It looks like somebody's uh, been hacking this guy up. Got a few uh, few connections there that have been changed up. Some wire nuts. That's been added. It's probably a good thing. Uh, but yeah, it looks like to me like this is a ream. It's a single phase heat pump, but it looks like the heating element or the reversing valve has been disconnected. Because I only have, I have R, Y, G, and a common. Looks like... Oh, no, actually, no, I take that back. You might actually have. Oh, no, no, that's a common. I take that back. So, yeah, so we don't have uh, an O, or in this case, a B. Because uh, this one, it's default cool. So, uh, when you turn on cooling for this one, you only have to energize Y. Uh, most of them, it's going to be Y and O, but this one's just Y. If you want to energize heat, then you would do Y and B. Uh, but yeah, so anyway, we're gonna go ahead and jump this guy on. We got our gauges hooked up, ready to roll. It's R22, old boy. Okay, let's see what our pressures are doing. Yeah, suction slowly dropping. It's definitely below freezing. So, first things first, we're gonna check the filter. Uh, then we're gonna, well, we're gonna check the filter and make sure the blower is actually running. And we'll go from there. Ew. The vapor calls nasty. Not terrible, but I've seen worse. Not really feeling much air. So we'll go to the other side, see if we can find that blower. Alrighty, so we got this guy open. So the coil's definitely freezing up. So that's our blower motor got the power cut oh oh yeah it barely moves let's see well it's really hot so usually these things will operate right around 100 foot degrees so oh, look at that got a little bit of ice going on in there so we might have a bad blower motor so first things first, let's go ahead and check the cap the capacitor. Okay, so we pulled out the capacitor. Got it right here. Uh, this is definitely not original. It's a 10 microfarad. So we got set to MFD for our meter here. We should be getting close to 10. Mm, pretty good. It's probably got a dead blower motor. So we'll go ahead and put everything back together and then uh, we'll uh, check to see if the motor's dead. So it's kind of hard to spin it, so probably dead. So got to go see if I have one on the truck. Hopefully I do. Fingers crossed. Okay, so we got uh, R to G. So we're going to power her up. Got our capacitor reconnected. Okay, she's spinning. full blast that's for sure it looks like we got a bad blower motor it doesn't sound too good huh? yeah it's pretty weak airflow it's only pulling 1.3 amps that's no good so let's see this guy's for 97 and uh, let's see indoor blower so it's a 208 230 single of uh, single phase volts is 208 230 I don't think I have this motor on the truck. Which is cool because that means I can order the OEM. I'd much rather order an OEM motor. Yeah, there's definitely something up with this thing. It's barely moving air. So yeah, that's why our pressures are just going low is because we're just not getting enough air going across this coil. So we're gonna go tell them the good news or bad news. Okay, so we got her all figured out. Blower motor's dead. 
Still don't know about the refrigerant. It's probably fine. The standing pressure is about 150 PSI G. Uh, so generally R22 in this temperature, ambience currently 80. 150, 160 is normally is normal. So I don't think it's low on refrigerant. I think it just doesn't have enough airflow going across the coil. Uh, so as you saw in the pressures, uh, we had low suction, but our high side was somewhat normal. Uh, so that's usually an indication that we only have a airflow uh, problem. So we're just not getting enough air going across those coils. Uh, so it drops the suction pressure and begins to freeze. I don't know if you can see that in there, but this, that's all ice under there. Yeah. Let's see if I can get it out. Yeah, well, I got a piece of it. So yeah, so it's freezing up. And the complaint, the original complaint was uh, it would cool for a little bit and then it would slowly go away as far as uh, the cool. And uh, when I, to be honest, when I was up there, I could barely feel any air coming out. So I'm going to try to order an OEM uh, motor because personally I prefer to use OEM motors. Uh, worst case scenario, uh, we'll go ahead and put in a universal. But like I said, uh, I prefer to put in an OEM motor whenever I can. They're just better. It's what's designed for especially these old systems from 1997 so anyway okay so we're back here in a couple days we got our new motor we're gonna go ahead and swap her out so we're gonna make note of where the wires are going we're gonna have to probably pull this out of the way so that's out of the way let's connect these wires these two screws come out the whole thing should just slide right out so here we go <laughs> Alrighty, so we are going to pull this motor out. So we'll start with taking the set screw out, pulling the bolts out, and hopefully it just slides right out. If not, we got our handy dandy fan puller. So here we go. and put her back in so okay so we got her all the way back in there all hooked up so we're gonna go ahead and power it up and make sure it works so okay so our moment of truth we're jumping R to uh, R to G so let's go ahead and power this thing up hopefully it doesn't explode we have fan and we want to make sure it's blowing the right way. Yep. Yep. Awesome. So yeah, we are good to go. So we're going to go ahead and put this back together, turn on cooling, we'll check our pressures. Okay, so we got R to Y jumped. We're going to power this thing on, see how she did. We've got our probes hooked up. And we'll give her a minute. Uh-oh. We might have to jump G. All right, let's try that. Okay, so we had to jump G. That's looking a lot better. <laughs> so we're gonna let her stabilize for a bit, and double check her, get some temperatures. But I think we can call her good. Uh, there's a few other things that need to be done, but the uh, client opted to just take care of the fans, so yeah. So yeah, there's our old motor. I could barely spin it. That's definitely dead. Mm. So we're still trying to get temperature reading. I don't really care for it, but it is like a thousand degrees inside the the space, so you know. Let's go ahead and get a delta T. So we'll wait till that stabilizes and then we'll check our return. Oh okay, so yeah, that's a weird one. So that's a supply, and then this is a supply, and then the return's a down shot there. So I'm getting about 68 degrees on my supply, and it's 88 degrees. 
on my return. So let's see, 21 degree delta. So yeah, don't worry, I'm gonna put a screw in that hole. But yeah, so uh, it's hot as hell down there. Whew, 88 degrees, good lord. Anyway, it's back up and running. So we should be good to go. So thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Hit that bell notification, comment, tell me what a horrible technician I am. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks for watching. Till the next one.